You're trash. He's like, delete the game off your hard drive because you're trash. <laughs> I'm up here at the Goodwill, going on a nice little solo mission. I just been out. To, uh, it's been an early morning for me. I went out to uh, Muffler Man, a local, rather midtown, uh, to a place here in Princeton, and they put some sea foam through my uh, through my lifters, and uh, it's doing good. Truck's running really smooth. I just drove it down the interstate. I was cranking wide open on this bad boy, and uh, pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with my truck driving, but. Now it's time to have a good adventure for today. I'm, I've done with the muffler man. Gonna, he told me to go on a long ride with it. He's taking on a long ride, drive it a little bit hard, let the sea foam circle through it. So that's my deal. I'm gonna drive it, take it all the way around Bluefield, Princeton, come around, come back home, and uh, enjoy the day. Enjoy the day. Classic vase. <laughs> Classic vase. My mom told me no more vases. I like some artwork. Here's some nice artwork. <laughs> <sighs> That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Oh, there's me. <laughs> Little picture. I yeah, like that. That's kind of cool. What the hell that is? I put this in the. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's a. That's a classic. Man, that's pretty old. Old picture. Friend. <laughs> Friend. <laughs> I like these stuffed animals. <laughs> My niece was here, she'd be going wild over these. <laughs> she likes teddy bears and stuff like that. Oh, here's something. Angel with the... Camera going, that's why I had to show up. You had to show up. You had to show up and show out, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was sitting there, I was getting the... Just <laughs> looking around, found me some good movies. Found me, It'd be fine. Found me some Cheech and Chong, born in East Ooh. LA, and get out of my room. And I don't have Blue Streak and News of the World. I heard that was a good one. That's I heard a good pack right there. Yeah, that's why I was gonna say I got the train. There's two good movies. I don't know about the other one. Is it good too? Which one? I didn't get out of my room. Yeah. I ain't never watched it. That's why I picked it up. Plus, I could take these two right here at the top. Are you off today? Yeah, I had I was off and got the trade. I got to take my vehicle over and have some sea foam shoot through it. Sea oh foam. boy, gonna get it cleaned out, huh? Got it cleaned out. I was running down the road in it because I ain't had that truck on the road for about a year and a half. Oh, okay. Did you finally get it worked on? Got it worked on. Been driving it. Got the oil changed. Everything is perfect in it. Good. It's been good, CJ. Been good. Hopefully they didn't hit you too hard on the bill. No, they didn't. It was actually very reasonable. It's, it surprised me. It surprised me what I was able to get. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know how this looks. The mummy. Oh, it don't look too good already. Yeah, yeah. I've, I, there's like two of them I had to put back because the discs was... I ain't seen this one. Cheap thrills can only do so much. <laughs> yeah. I ain't been in there for a long time. Hey, <laughs> I, was, I just picked up uh, a collection. Uh, a collection set from me. Oh, and, did you? Yeah, and uh, I was like, man, this is gonna be good. Plus, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm building up my trade credit, as they say. I'm getting these. Oh, you're gonna yeah, trade a few. Gonna trade a few. Been playing any good games? I started that Spiros. I started that uh, that Reignited trilogy because I just picked, for my birthday I picked up like three three games from there, and it was really good. Pretty good, huh? Really good, as they say. I always heard smoking aces is good. Oh, damn, it is damn good, man. And brand new, you need to get that for a dollar fifty. Yeah, I might try. I check that out. You want, Jason always talks about it all the time. It's damn good. It's damn good. I I recommend it to Eddie. I recommend it. I think Chris has watched it too. We've I've got I got it. It's really damn good. Who did this one? Uh, Ryan Reynolds, uh, Jeremy Pivens in it. All these assassins are in it. They all go to this motel to kill one guy. Oh, okay. This sounds interesting. I might check this out. For a dollar fifty brand new, you're getting a hell of a bargain, baby. Some yeah, hip hop abs, baby. Hip hop abs. <laughs> so, 
CJ was oh yeah, I had that and I actually traded in the cheap thrills. Did you? <laughs> I had the blue race. I, you so, got me doing some singing. Hey buddy, he can sing and dance and play Wolverine. Yeah. That's how bad and intense he is. Like he, he could still do, got skin cancer or he had I skin think he, cancer real bad there for a while. He looks like he's jacked now. He's jacked and ready to come back as Wolverine again. Is he gonna come back again? You didn't see that with him and Ryan Reynolds together? Mm. Oh, yeah, at the end of Deadpool 2. Deadpool. No, 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 I mean, he shot a video together like months ago, and he's like, and uh, so Ryan Reynolds says, I've got a special announcement. And everybody thought he was going to announce he was retiring from the role, right? He said, Deadpool 3 will be filming, and this guy is with me. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Hugh Jackman walked out, and everybody was like, he's like, yes, I am going to be in Deadpool 3 as Wolverine. Oh. And he's like, and it showed like, uh, there's two pictures from the set. Yeah. And uh, they were gonna write writer's strike, they might be able to do something. Well, they've got the script done because it, it showed like Electra's in it. Mm -hmm. they, they, they actually brought Jennifer Garner, she's coming back as Electra in it. Oh, okay. And uh, they've got other ones that are gonna happen. It should be good. Well, I was gonna say, CJ, what's, what's your picks, buddy? What's your pick so far on your movies, man? Yeah, so far, yeah. that's a good one. You got the two. That's a great one. Transporter one two. You know the transporter. I might pick this up just to have it. I've got it too. All those I have. All those are great ones. Season six of twenty four. Keith are doing some Keith -er things. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool what they put up there, man. That, look at that mural, man. That's that's it's at the Walmart in Bluefield. That's very cool. Yeah, they've rearranged a lot of this store in here. Uh, in Walmart. I'm supposed to meet CJ. Uh, I, I'm hoping. Uh, he, he might meet me at the GameStop when it opens up at 12. I'm just getting here killing time and looking. I, I had Tammy, but I turned it back in. Traded it in for credit. These are the $5 movies. <laughs> mm. Suicide Squad, Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo goes Hollywood. Eddie, Eddie gave me Hollywood and uh, one of these. He gave me the Hollywood movie. He, he has all these Scooby Doo movies. That's pretty good. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind getting that Andy Griffith show. That Andy Griffith show would be kind of cool. There's Beetlejuice. That's kind of cool. Transformers. I gotta show my mom the Andy Griffin show, Ed Mayberry RFD. If anybody don't remember this, this was the spinoff of uh, Andy Griffin. It only lasted, it was canceled due to that royal purge that they had. It kept all the sub characters like Goober and all them, Aunt B for a while, but it didn't last that long. But I'm gonna check with her and see about that. If it wasn't that expensive, man, I would do it. But, hmm. It's time for you to pick up those Pokemon, buddy. Gotta catch them all. I usually get them at Walmart where I get the 10%. Yeah. But I don't haven't collected them in years. Just don't be like that guy that was going in there. Was you there at night that uh, they said the guy went in there and was trying to steal Pokemon cards? Yeah. <laughs> that was, it was, oh God, that was wild. Take yeah, an extra. Yeah, that was crazy. I, they're a lot of money, I guess. They are, man. They, they must be because I never could get into them now. My niece is into the Pokemon, but she's not. I got the old gold ones back when we were teenagers. But yeah. I don't have uh, any of the moves. Look at this. We got some. We got some pops over here. No, I'm good on pops. I don't collect pops. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Here's. Here's Dane Whitman. I wonder what. I wonder how much the. Uh, how much? How much are the pops on clearance? A couple of them have been bringing up for like a dollar fifteen to three. So okay. I can price start them if you need. Okay, okay, that'd be cool. I'll, if they're a dollar fifty, I'll buy a couple here. Because <laughs> uh, everything up here is also sixty percent off. Okay, we I'll, just moved it out there. Okay, I'll check them out. Check yeah. them out. They probably ignored me. <laughs> so you're not going to ignore me. <laughs> oh yeah, here's the yeah here's some. Oh, okay. Well, here's one I need at cars. If I, yeah, I told you. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Mm -hmm. Plop down that 18 on that. What is it? Is that's cars too? Pretty good. Yeah. 
Look at the back here. Are y'all still having that buy to get? Ah, oh, torn. That would have made it worthwhile. <laughs> Cars. Yeah, I know. Eight bit Eric got him a couple. Got that new Sonic Origins and stuff. I picked up, like I said, I picked up that, uh, I tried that Gotham, Gotham Knights off that deal. Because I was like, well, I said, I think I'll go ahead and do that. I picked up uh, Sonic, not off that deal, but I picked up Sonic Origins a couple weeks back. It's good. It's got, the only thing I didn't like is it didn't have the Game Gear games on the disc. And it didn't have the download characters on the disc. You had to get a voucher for it. I was like, all that space, and they couldn't put that on the damn disc. It's always a, it's, there's always a way out to do this, get this from you. <laughs> well, I mean, it was just a voucher in there. They could have just stuck it on the the disc. I guess they're trying to get it rushed out. You know, and that's probably what they done to try to get it rushed out. Being Still serious. Yeah. So, how much how much space is on a uh, Blu-ray disc? I have no that's idea. A lot. Yeah. And that game, and I think the original games they're not that much. They're what eight gigabytes at the most. Yeah. I think they have like a hundred gigabytes on those discs. Pick that game up, CJ. You already need to, got it. You done got it? Yeah, I got it on the Switch or the Wii U, something. I think this is pretty, it's a pretty good deal on this because this was a 40 or $50 game. Yeah, Regina came over one time I was playing Shovel Knight. She's like, what is that game? I was like, Shovel Knight. She's like, I want to get that. It's pure heroin. You should know. <laughs> <laughs> you should say, see, it's not the game. It's the heroin. <laughs> it's a crack. <laughs> Look, you should looked over and it's like, it's not the game. It's not the game. It's the crack on the table over there. <laughs> it's the ball crack. <laughs> Don't you buy it on the Switch too, Hugh? You get the Persona uh, on the Switch and have it on the go. I should, but I don't have it many Switch games. I mostly get, I've been building up my PlayStation 5 collection That's for- where you start. You get your Switch games too. My niece wants a Switch. She's looking for one. I've told my sister, I got to tell her to come over here when she gets a chance so I can get the points off of it when she does get one. She I had to get, to get another controller for my Switch, my Pro controller. Yeah. Started drifting. You should cast it out. You should say, you son of a- <laughs> I threw it. I was like, no. No. Nah. <laughs> I started to play Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and there was a, yeah. a minecart section on there. Yeah. And when you go in the minecart and I was going around in the minecart and Link would just walk right out of the minecart and just die. Well, here I am in Princeton now, taking this GameStop in, getting ready to take in the good old GameStop and see what's in this one. I don't know if Daryl's here today or not. No, I don't think he is, but I guess it's his day off, but we'll see what's going on. CJ was getting after me with a switch. <laughs> Let's pick this up for PlayStation 3. 
Hey guys, ECW fan here, the collector, and I hope you enjoyed that ECW fan vlog, which wasn't planned as a vlog because I started out as a quick solo mission, just to ride out for the day and goof around a little bit and get my vehicle tested out real good. Well, I ran into CJ, which we've done this a couple times, and he was at the Goodwill. He just come up on me, and I decided to cut that part out because it was the video went strange and blah, it like blurred so we was at the goodwill and we started hanging out for the you know we we did two stops together at goodwill and gamestop that you saw so i picked up stuff there with him and well i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i picked up at the goodwill with him and man i was so happy to pick up some of the you know three of these movies are well there's like actually there's there's six movies here <laughs> So anyhow, I picked up News of the World, and I've heard good things from Frank. My friend Frank likes this movie. It's got Tom Hanks in it, a towering piece of movie making. And from what I saw from the trailer, Tom Hanks is a guy that rides around in the West and reads the newspaper to people. And a lot of a, a number of people in the West, far West, were illiterate. They couldn't read. So Tom Hanks would read them what was going on in the world wasn't like the local news where you just, you know, the internet, you turn on the internet and find out, oh, this is going on. No. Back in the day, news traveled kind of slow. So he would drive, ride around, get paid to read the news to people. And I think he finds this little girl on something. So I think she, her parents are killed and he takes her, you know, he takes her in. But I'll have to see. I, I, Tom Hanks has always been a good actor. Now, moving on. I picked up two Martin Lawrence films, and brand spanking new, damn, brand spanking new. <laughs> it is Blue Streak and National Security, and I've seen both of these, and they're both really good. Uh, Blue Streak is probably my favorite, where he poses as a cop, and uh, it's really funny when he poses as this cop, and uh, it's because it, he wants to get this jewel. He's a jewel thief, and he, he left it in this office where they built the new police station. Now, the, the movie with a three-pack is one that I liked here. And me and CJ have never seen this third movie. But I picked up the Midnight Munchies pack of Cheech and Chong's next movie, Born in East L.A., and Cheech and Chong, Get Out of My Room. Now, Get Out of My Room, I've never seen. And even CJ said, what is Get Out of My Room? I was like, I have no idea. I've never seen it. It looks unique. It looks like a unique film. Uh, I, I wish there... This movie right here, instead of Born in East L.A., I wish it was Things Are Tough All Over. I wish that was the one Cheech and Chong movie, because it, and I think the Corsian Brothers, is the one I, those last two I need. Of all the Cheech and Chong films. Cheech and Chong, baby. Cheech and Chong. Anyhow, after I left CJ a second or third time, I think it was after the second time, after we had left GameStop together, and he was going on home with his wife, and uh, I told him I'd meet up with him next time, and we, you know, we had a good time. It was a good time seeing him, you know. I ain't seen him in a while, so it was good seeing him there, so we had some fun and talked some crap for a while about games and stuff, but anyhow, I found two movies at the Dollar Tree, and I was very shocked what they had at the Dollar Tree. So, I picked up The Hunger. Yeah, The Hunger. Now, the Bluefield Dollar Tree was kicking. I don't know what it is about the Bluefield Dollar Tree, but they had some good movies. Ours is the same crappy movies. I don't know what it is. So, here it is. Here's the Hunger. And I can't wait to watch that with Fang. It looks interesting. And then I picked up one that me and Eddie saw back almost a decade ago. It was in 2014. It was Immortals. And this was a really good one. I picked this one up on the Blu-ray. I was like, yeah, this is... I, I enjoy this story. I was like, this is a really nice one to get. Now, I didn't film in this location. I, I, there was like two, I, I cut a lot out of this video. There was like three clips I filmed in Walmart and I cut out. There was 
two or three clips I filmed in this Salvation Army thrift and I realized this video was going long. So I didn't want a really long video. I didn't want to do a two-parter. I want to just do one part and show what I picked up. So I went ahead and I picked up three movies at the Salvation Army thrift. And this thrift store had a ton of cartoons, animation stuff. I mean, DC, Marvel, and it was a lot of newer stuff. I was really wishing that they had some you know, season sets of older stuff, but there's a lot of the stuff in the 2000s and the 2010s, so I went through and I decided to pick up two Lego movies. I picked up Lego DC Super Heroes Justice League Cosmic Clash, and the Lego stuff reminds me of the Saturday morning era, the old Saturday morning era that we all enjoy. I picked that one up. I picked up Justice League Attack of the Legion of Doom with and I, I, I tell you what, this stuff does remind me of the Saturday morning stuff back in the day. And finally, I picked up one that shocks me. It shocks me I picked this one up. But it was a dollar. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to gamble it. I could always try to trade it back in, hopefully, if I don't like it. But I remember the trailers. I actually remember the trailers of this. And, well, I picked up Ghostbusters, Answer the Call. And that's what with the, that's the little tagline they put underneath it to make it different from the other Ghostbusters, the original. Now this movie is confusing as a premise and what they tried to do. It, you know, people's like, is it a is it a continuation? Is it a remake? Is it a reboot? Because it said thirty years ago, four guys saved New York. Is it like an alternate universe? I mean, it made no sense why they did that, and. I gotta say this, I know a lot of people give this movie hell, but the cast was perfect. You can't get a cast like, you know, Kate McKinnon, Melissa McCart and uh, Leslie Jones and Christine Wiig were three great, solid Saturday Night Live actors. It's just the script and the director let them down. And McKinnon, I've seen clips of little kids at cons dressed as her, and I think she had the right idea. You know, one one complaint I heard was a lot of the characters were trying to be Peter Vankman. Trying to be just cool, SOB. You can't be, not everybody can be Bill Murray in a movie. If you have four, three or four people trying to be Bill Murray in one movie, it's not going to work. You need to be somebody different. Well, McKinnon seized on that. She become the cool Egon character. She out-cooled them by being different from the clips I saw. And kids saw that and that's a shame you know she probably could have been if this movie had been better and she had been that character and they had done a better script we probably would have seen two or three more sequels and we would have seen more fans really get into kate mckinnon's character but it bombed and you know it lost sony money so that's how it goes okay let's get to the games the games that's why you're here anyhow so, after I left CJ at Goodwill, and I got me some breakfast, I drove over to this pawn shop. Now, me and Eddie and us have all been over to this pawn shop for years. I have. Sometimes I'll make a good score on one game, but this is the first time I can say I walked out three for three. Three for three, perfect, cheap. They had actually put the games in a better spot, more organized. I mean, I was like, I was like holy crap, this is really great. This is organized, man. This is better than what they had it at. And the guy had organized them all. And he cut me a deal on the old ones, like the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 2 and Xbox. He said, yeah, these are all cheap. Cheap. I wish I had filmed in there, but, you know, with nobody there and I didn't know. So, the first one I picked up is for the original Xbox. It is Batman Begins. Fear is your weapon. Yeah. Batman Begins, baby. And the book and everything, the, the disc is in great shape. Yep. Batman Begins. I was very happy to get this one. So, that was my first nice score. So, I was looking around, and the next two games I found, man, I was like, yes, yes, this is great. Two good, solid games for my collection. And I picked up. Dark Souls, the original Dark Souls, which me and the guy joked about is a hard ass game. You gotta bring your A game on this one. <laughs> I don't know if I can or not. I'll be honest. I 
not that good a video game player. I kind of suck, but I will give it. I will give it my all. And you'll see me swearing. If I, there was a video, I'd be like swearing at the TV when it kills me. But yeah, I've got Dark Souls 2 up there somewhere. The next one I got, and this is a nice one. And this was one I've been wanting for a while. But this is the special edition. This is the Pete Tiger Woods PGA Tour 14. This is a the Masters, the historic edition. Yes, I can now play. Augusta National in 1934. No clue what the hell that is. Not a golf fan, but hey, experience the past and present. But this one is, this one books a little bit. And uh, about a year or two ago, I was down in Virginia on a mission and I was trying to find some games. And I walked in this store and this guy had a bunch of games he had you know he had some good ones and one of them was uh pga tour 14 and these went like 25 bucks for it and i was like ah, that's a little bit too pricey for me it's too rich for my blood no i can't do that so i left it i left it. but now i found it after so long i found it for not even that god thankfully not for that price so at the end of the day, where I didn't film in that thrift shop, I did find two games. I bought three movies and two games. So, Anyway, I was looking for more games. I mean, this really shocked me. I mean, two nice games in this thrift shop. Yeah. So, I might have to keep an eye on this thrift shop. I might have to keep, I might have to keep a special eye on this thrift shop. If they're, if they're loading up like this, this thing could be special. <laughs> well, anyhow... I found an Xbox 360 of Tomb Raider. And I was like, let me check the disc. Let me check the disc. And I did. The disc is in perfect shape. It also has a Tomb Raider, you know, has a manual. And I've got Tomb Raider on the PlayStation 3. And I was like, okay, that's great. The disc is in great shape. Man, that's just an oddity to find in this place like this. So the next game I found as I was going through, was brand new, never been opened. It is still wrap, still in the wrapper. It is a thrill, Thrillville from LucasArts. Welcome to the theme park of your dreams. The number one original family game of 2006. Got that there. Those are the only two games I found. Uh, I was looking. Trust me, I looked. I said, if he's got any more games, <laughs> they got any more games in this freaking thrift shop, in this Salvation Army thrift, they're coming home to daddy. Well, if they're in good shape. And it, the odds that, you know, the Xbox 360 games is kind of... Yeah. Let's get to what I picked up with CJ. As you saw, we was in the good... I mean, GameStop. So we're looking around. I was like, scouting something. And I, was, I know that he was having their Prime sale. GameStop, Walmart, and a couple other places are having these sales, these special sales. I guess it's a Christmas in July deal. So one of the games that they had, and I I could have picked this up last week, but the price, I was like, ah, that price ain't that good for me. You know, it was like, I think it was a $60 game. I was like, nah, not for the PlayStation 5. I love this game. This game's one of my favorites. Well, with my, I used a card and some coupon points. I picked up Persona 5 Royale for the PlayStation 5. I hope, you know, this is the, the PlayStation 5 version. So I'm like, yeah, you know what? This is perfect. This is a great way, you know, picked up. I mean, I scored some great games, and I and to get this one for, you know, a card and some points I used on it. This is nice. So I didn't pay that price there for it. So I was able to get it knocked down. But that was it. That was the pickups. And it was a really nice day, you know. Some great games, three bangers, three pretty good bangers and a cheap brand new one a good rpg which is and this was the last copy too so she said you got the last copy she said you got the display copy that we used for display and that was luck that was luck they didn't have persona 5 royale at, at the princeton store so i got lucky but that's my pickups i hope you enjoyed them i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i'm sorry it went too long but 
it is what it is, baby. Now I'm gonna go play me some good old Dark Souls and get my ass kicked. <laughs>